Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, it's going to be all about Abercrombie denim shorts. I have six different styles to share with you, a couple different variations of some of the styles, including some curved love options, which are supposed to give you a little bit more room. I think it's about two inches in the thigh and the butt area. I wanna compare that fit with the original fit, see how they fit, which one we like better, which one is more comfortable. I, When it comes to sizing, I ordered all of these denim shorts in the same size, and when it comes to shopping and sizing for denim shorts, I like to size up one. Just like with my swimwear, I don't like my shorts to be too tight on my waist or my thighs. So typically I'm a size six or a size 28 waist. So when I ordered these, I did size up to a size eight or a size 29. They're all the same size. I'll have the rest of my measurements listed down below in the description box. So feel free to reference that if you need to. Other than that, let's get started. All right, so first up we have the mom shorts. This is in a medium ripped wash and it is available in seven different washes. They retail for $59 and it's just a high rise with some distressing throughout and a raw hem at the bottom. This is what the back looks like. I also picked up the mom short in the exact same wash in the Curve Love option. So we'll be testing out and comparing the Curve Love with the original fit when it comes to the mom short. All right, so first up here are the mom shorts. They are high rise and they have the distressing. I'll try and show you the wash on them. I do like the wash. It's like just a beautiful, just medium blue wash. This is what the side looks like to them. And the back. Um, standing here in the mirror and looking at them, I do really like them. They're definitely kind of on the shorter side for me. They're not too short. I'll show you this side as well. If you notice on this side, you can see that the hem, it kind of veers up a little bit. I think it is, that's a flattering because it's a little bit longer back here, but they definitely are on the little bit shorter side, not too short, but I personally would not want to go any shorter when it comes to these. I am surprised that these fit how they do, considering I sized up one. These, to me, are not that roomy or that big on me. I feel like these fit almost like a normal size 28 or size 6 would fit, which is surprising to me, given I did size up. The only thing, and it's a major thing, it's something that I notice, and it's a deal breaker when it comes to this pair of short for me, is that I've been wearing them around the house for about 20 minutes, like just doing odds and ends, and they continuously, they're riding up my butt. I feel like I'm constantly trying to pull them down, and it just feels like I have a wedgie. So unfortunately, unfortunately, Standing here in the mirror and standing still, they look cute and they're comfortable, but actually walking and moving and living in them, like you have to do with your clothes, these are not going to work for me. I, it might be my body type, I don't know, but that is a huge thing that I noticed. Okay, so here are the Curve Love option, and I've gotta say, these feel so much more comfortable and off the bat, they are definitely much roomier. I have a lot of room in the middle here, and some would say it, these are too big, but for me, when I'm wearing my denim shorts, this is what I want. I want a looser fit short. So the Curve Love, the 29 and the size eight, this feels how I think sizing up one would fit on me. And when it comes to the legs, these also, I can definitely tell and feel the difference that these have so much more room in the thigh and in the butt. These feel comfortable. And I'm so happy to say that I've also been wearing these for about 15 minutes around the house and they have not, I don't have the same problem with them riding up and giving me a wedgie. So when it comes to the mom short for me, the curve love option is where it's at. Next up, we have the dad short. This is in a medium wash, and these also retail for $59. They are available in five different washes, and it's just a high rise uh, short with a relaxed fit throughout the thigh and a raw hem as well. Just the back. In a similar fashion, I also picked up the dad short in this medium wash in the Curve Love as well. So we'll be comparing the Curve Love with the dad short as well. Okay, so these are definitely the longest pair of shorts I've tried on in a long time. 
but I don't hate them. I'm not sure if I love them, but I don't hate them. They are definitely high rise. They come above my belly button. This is what they look like in the front. Side. The back. And this is what this side looks like. Sometimes the hem can look a little bit different on the sides. As for the wash, this is what the wash looks like. Unfortunately, when it comes to these, I've also noticed that they also keep riding up my butt. So I don't know. Does anyone else have that issue or is it just me? Is it just my body type? I don't know. But luckily, I did order the Curve Love in the, this option as well. So we'll try the Curve Love on. Let's cross our fingers that it's not riding on her butt because it's just not going to cut it for me. And I'm not going to be uncomfortable and <laughs> be <laughs> pulling my shorts down all day long. That's okay, so here are the Curve Love. And they definitely, just like with the mom short Curve Love, these feel much roomier in the thighs and in the butt area. I feel like my thighs are saying, thank you. <laughs> they can and breathe they're not they don't feel so constricted but the waist it's still everything else fits really well it's just there's more room in the butt in the thigh and the waist and I like that feels good I've also noticed with these thankfully that they are not writing up so curve love the mom short the dad short so far that is where it's at I did want to mention with this um the dad short, this has a button fly. It's not a zipper fly. The mom short has the zipper fly, but these dad shorts, they have the button fly. Moving along, we also have the dad short in a black wash. If you notice closely, these have the asymmetrical crisscross waistband detail. So I'm excited to try these. And these also do not have a raw hem at the bottom. It is a sewn hem. This is what the back looks like. And these retail for $65, so they're just a little bit more than the other dad shorts. Okay, okay, I think these so far are my absolute favorite pair of um, shorts. I really like these. Starting with the waistband, definitely high-waisted, but it's that crisscross waistband. I think is so flattering. It makes your waist look nice and small. And I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, to be honest, but I do, and it's also very comfortable. Another thing I love about these shorts is actually that they do not have the raw hem at the bottom. And this is what the side looks like, the back. These are just comfortable. The wash is really nice as well. It is not a stark black wash. It's definitely a vintage black wash, like lived in. And I like that. When it comes to sizing, these fit really well. And I have not noticed walking around my house and the same issue with some of the other shorts. These do not ride up my butt. They are supposedly the same length, I think, as the other dad shorts, the blue uh, denim wash. But these, for some reason, they just seem, they seem to not look so long, like a super long short. So I feel very, very comfortable in these. And they feel like, I don't know, I just feel really good. I could chase after my kids in these, bend over and not think twice about, you know, feeling exposed, should I say. I promise this is the last dad short and then we're moving on completely from them. But this is the seven inch dad short in a medium wash. I have to admit that a seven inch short, this is definitely out of my normal wheelhouse. I, I don't gravitate towards very long shorts. I have short legs, so they don't really look the best on me. But it was a slicing detail, if you notice on the waistband, that really caught my eye with these. These do go for $70, so they are the most expensive out of the entire bunch so far, I guess. There's more material, <laughs> I don't know. But they do have the raw hem and they are available in two or one other washes, two washes total. So these are the seven inch dad shorts. Okay, so I don't love these, but I gotta say I don't hate these either. Uh, I love the splicing waistband. I think similar to the crisscross waistband at the last pair, this is what really, really makes these shorts really cute. It makes your waist look really uh, small as well. So what the side looks like, the front, if you notice, there's also some pinstriping on these that goes down the front, the back, 
They have the raw hem. The denim itself is very soft and it's very stretchy, it feels like almost, but still thick and very like good quality. Um, this is what the wash looks like. For my liking, I think that these are just a little bit too long. Like I said, I have shorter legs, so this length is probably just a tad bit too long for my liking. But if you are someone who does like a little bit longer short, or you are really tall and you have long legs, these are great because they're high-waisted. This detail, I'm telling you, I'm in love with this detail and what it does to your waist. I really like it and these are very comfortable. I have not found that they ride up like some of the other shorts, which is a great thing. Moving into something ultra comfy and cozy for a moment, we have the vintage Sunday shorts. These are in a size medium in the color purple gray. I think it's the most beautiful color. I love it. These have the drawstring in the inside. They also have a nice little slit on the side. They are just a high-waisted fleece lined short and they go for $40. The material is thick and it's soft, exactly how you would expect Abercrombie to be. So let's try these on. To no surprise, these are ultra comfortable. I love them and they feel just like sweatpants, but in a short form. I love that they're high-waisted. Oftentimes I feel like shorts like this, you can't get them high-waisted. So you like make them high-waisted, but they're not really meant to be, so sometimes you do get like a little wedgie action, but these are high-waisted. This waistband is very comfortable, and also I love that these have that little slide detail with that little slit. I think that's cute. They do have two usable functional pockets, really nice, and here's what the back looks like. These are just like a really comfy, like they're named, a vintage Sunday sweat. Last but certainly not least, we have the 90s relaxed cutoff shorts. These are in a light medium ripped wash. They are available in three different washes. They retail for $59 and they're just a high rise. They're supposed to be a little bit looser throughout the butt and thighs. And then they just have the raw hem. And this is what the back looks like. And when it comes to this pair, I did not get these in the curve love, excuse me, the curve love option. All right, so I think we found the ultimate winner out of this entire bunch, and that is this pair of shorts. These fit so well. I think they're everything that I want in a denim cutoff short. They're high-waisted. This size fits really well, too, and they remind me of the mom short, but with all the benefits and the things that you want, they are a little bit looser and more relaxed throughout the thigh and the butt. And I think that is what a lot of us are looking for. You want your thighs to be able to breathe. And I, the mom shorts, they kind of, especially the non, the original fit, the non curb love, they made me feel like I was like a can of biscuits being squeezed out. That's not a good feeling when it comes to dad shorts. These feel good. They are shorter than the dad shorts, but they're not too short. This is what the thigh looks like what the back looks like and the wash on these is also really nice would be interested in seeing how they fit in the curve love I think those would be perfection there was one short that unfortunately I could not get my hands on they were sold out online and they are also sold out in the store nearest me and that is the four inch mom short I've tried them on in the past and they fit like a dream they're like the perfect in-between short so if you're in the market and searching for some Abercrombie shorts check out the four inch mom short unfortunately I wasn't able to get my hands on it and show you today how they fit but trust me I think you will like them a lot to do a quick little wrap up, let me go through the shorts a little bit. My favorite pair, these, the 90s relaxed cutoff. Definitely my favorite, they fit the best, they feel the best, I really like them. My second favorite pair was that black wash in the dad short. I loved the waistband and they felt just like a really good, nice, safe uh, length and seam length. Those are very, very comfortable as well. When it comes to the other, the blue denim with the raw hem, the dad short, those were comfortable, but they felt, to me, they seemed a little bit too long. Similar with the seven inch dad short for me, my preference and my taste, those were a little bit too long. They're still very comfortable, really good quality. I like the spliced waist on those. That was so cute. I wish you could get that on these. That would be the ultimate <laughs> super cute jean short. 
and the vintage Sunday sweats, of course, those were comfortable. I don't even need to say anything more. And the mom short, I will, I have to say that those were my least favorite pair, I think because those were the tightest fitting and the shortest. And these days, it's not necessarily something I'm going for. The original fit definitely felt like it might have ran small because like I said, I sized up in all of these shorts and the original fit in the mom short felt <laughs> tight. But when it came to the Curve Love option in the mom fit, those felt like I had sized up one because they weren't loose and big. And I will have to say just the Curve Love option. I am a big fan of the Curve Love option, especially when it comes to your shorts, giving you a little bit extra wiggle room in the thighs and the butt without having to compromise your waist. Um, yeah, these are my thoughts. Hopefully this has been helpful <laughs> to you and I will see you guys next time.